Okay, so this is Mr. Seward, and welcome back. And this is part three of if structures. We can simplify this program just a little bit more. Um, everything's been banked together, but if we use what are called if else statements, it makes it just a little simpler. So the first if is going to stay right here. The second if though, I'm going to change into the word else. And I'm going to actually delete where it says center value switch A, switch A equals equals zero. Actually, I'm going to get rid of all the uh, comment text there also. I'll get rid of that. And then I'm going to change uh, this one down here also. This if stays for the right motor. But the second one for uh, switch B is going to change to else. And then I'll get rid of all this stuff right here. Okay. And uh, let's give this a try. I'm going to compile this and download it to robot. And now I'm going to hit start and let's see if this works. Switch A works. Switch B works. Let's see if they both work at the same time. They do. What's nice is this else command needs else, nothing else, <laughs> needs nothing going with it to the right. 